hiyo lazima ikome these are business people we want to organize them so that they can do their business statistics inatuonyesha ya kwamba bilioni 350 kila mwaka iko katika sekta ya boda boda almost 1 billion shillings every day is contributed by the boda boda sector in our economy karibu ni kama pesa yote sisi tunatoa kama serikali kwa counties that is what the boda boda sector contribute and that is big tunaelewana na hiyo ni kazi mzuri mimi nataka niwahakikishie tutawashirikisha tutawashikanisha na opportunity ndio tuweze kwenda mbele pamoja lakini kuna mahali mimi nataka turekebishe ajali ambayo inapatikana kwa Kenya watu wanaopatikana kwa ajali ajali zote Kenya ni watu 120858 people are involved in accidents in the republic of Kenya every year especially last year what i'm saying last year yeah that is the report we have the report for last year 20,853 people were involved in accidents kati ya hawa watu 1,200 watu 1,415 15 walikufa 4515 people died because of accidents last year Ni mwananielewa Wale wengine watu 1016 walipata ajali wengine wamekuwa permanent uh, disability permanent disability wengine wamepona wengine wako na majeraha wengine wako na matatizo wengine hawawezi kufanya kazi ya, kazi yao hawezi kujisimamia kwa sababu ya ajali kwa watu 1500 ambao wamekufa wale watu wamegongwa na boda boda ni watu 1620 wamegongwa na boda boda wamekufa watu 1209 madreva wa boda boda wenyewe wacha sasa wale pasenje, wale watu wa, wa kutembea watu 1000 watu wa boda 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 riders 1209 wamekufa wale watu wa kubebwa na boda boda watu 420 wamekufa wale watu wa kuendesha sasa magari yale mengine watu 400 na nane wamekufa na passengers ya yale magari wengine watu 800 wamekufa meaning watu wa boda boda wale mo, wale watu wamegongwa wale watu riders wenyewe na wale wa kubebwa watu zaidi ya 2300 wamekufa kwa sababu aidha kuwa driver ya boda boda ama kuwa passenger barabarani amegongwa na boda boda ama mtu wa kubebwa na boda boda hapo ndio mimi nataka na nyinyi tushirikiane ili tupunguze maafa ambayo yanatokana barabarani na maafa yanayotokana na biashara ya boda boda tunakubaliana hapo mimi nataka niulize nyinyi watu 2300 kukufa wakiwemo boda boda riders wakiwemo wananchi wa kutembea barabarani ambao walikuwa na shughuli zao na wale ambao tumewabeba kama watu ya boda boda watu 2300 si hapo ni maneno ambayo lazima tufikirie na lazima tushughulikie so mimi nataka tukubaliane na nyinyi and that is why niliuliza tufanye hii mkutano kwa sababu mimi nataka nyinyi na wale wengine wote ambao wako katika hii sekta nataka tukubaliane vile tutafanya hii biashara muhimu ya boda boda tuondoe maafa
tuondoe na tupunguze ajali na tupange hii biashara ikae ni biashara ambayo itasaidia hawa watu milioni moja na laki nane ambao wako katika hii biashara tumekubaliana so mimi nataka tukubaliane hivi ya kwanza mimi nataka tukufaliane ya kwamba kwa sababu ajali inatokana mara nyingi ni kwa sababu wale wanaendesha boda boda hawana leseni na hawajasomeshwa they have no training and they have no license si ni kweli hapo tatizo kubwa ni kwamba watu wanaendesha pikipiki ya boda boda hawajafanyiwa training na hawana leseni ndio tunapata ajali nyingi so mimi nataka tukubaliane na nyinyi tumeongea na watu wa NYS nitaongea na wabunge mimi nitaongea na council of governors ya kwamba tuwe na training saa hizi tumeambiwa ya kwamba training ni shilingi elfu nane na leseni ni shilingi elfu tatu is that correct watu wa NTSA the license is how much shilingi elfu tatu na hamsini elfu tatu na fifty thirty fifty thirty fifty ndio leseni so mimi nataka tukubaliane na nyinyi kwa sababu tunataka tusaidiane kwa hii biashara. Tunaelewana jameni? Mimi nataka tukubaliane na waziri yuko hapa wa transport. Hawa ni watu yako. Watu ya kutumia barabara. Nitapanga na watu wa NYS. Nitapanga na counties. Nitaongea na uh, 2500. waziri vile utaenda kujipanga sasa <laughs> hiyo enda ujipange mimi nataka hii training na pamoja na license ambayo ni 10000 nataka tutoe 10000 mpaka 2500 tukubaliane what nys is going to do what the ministry is going to do what ntsa is going to do so that tuweze kuhakikisha ya kwamba watu wanaoendesha bikipiki ya boda boda wanaofanya biashara ya boda boda wako na training na wako na leseni sijui kama tumekubaliana hapo hapo sawa hiyo ni jambo la kwanza so that we can reduce on accidents on deaths on injuries we must train all our border border riders and we must license each and every one of them and i am proposing that the ministry and the government of kenya is going to work with all the other stakeholders including our county governments including our members of parliament so that the training and licensing should not exceed 2500 from 10000 Sijui kama tume sijui kama tumekubaliana jambo la pili ili pia tuweke nidhamu kwa watu wa boda boda hatutaki biashara ambayo inafanyika kiholela na hatutaki biashara ambayo wakora na wahuni wanaweza kuingilia waharibu biashara ya watu wengi na imeharibiwa na watu wachache lazima kila mtu vile tulikubaliana kila mtu awe kwenye sako na mimi nataka tuelewane hakuna mtu atalazimishwa kuwa kwa sako yeyote hakuna mtu atalazimishwe ati lazima ukue kwa sako fulani na hatutaki ati sako iwe ni mahali ya mtu kuambiwa ili uingie kwa hii sako lazima utoe pesa fulani hapana no hapana Sitake katel 
mimi nataka sako na sako ni mahali mtu anaingia kwa kupenda sio kama tumeelewana hapo yes tunataka tuwe katika sako so that we are organized na mimi nataka wizara ihakikishe na NTSA ihakikishe ya kwamba hizo sako za boda boda ni sako ambayo na maslahi ya members sio watu wachache waende washikane watengeneze sako na waanze kuchaji watu wengine ati ili uingie kwa hii sako toa elfu kumi, toa elfu tano, sijui toa elfu ngapi hapana tumekubaliana tuweke nidhamu tuweke mpango ya sawa sawa mmesikia vile governor wa Nairobi amesema kama sako itakuwa around uh, st uh, stages na nini na nini tuipangwe vizuri so that we know tunajua fulani ako ni mtu ya eh, eh, sako fulani na huyo fulani pikipiki yake ni pikipiki yake ni namba fulani ndio tuweze kupanga hiyo sekta ikae chonjo na ikae sawa sawa tumekubaliana tuko pamoja jambo la tatu nimeuliza watu wa St John na nitauliza watu wa Red Cross ili ile masomo ambayo training ambayo wana boda watapatiwa ili upate leseni tuhakikisha kwamba watu wa St John ama Red Cross wamewasaidia kuwasomesha mambo ya first aid na mambo ya emergency medical care ili kila mtu wa boda boda akitoka pale amesomeshwa vile ya kuendesha pikipiki na vile vile amesomeshwa ikitokea hajali ni nini atafanya ndio tuweze kuokoa maisha ya wananchi watu ya St John they are here si ndio bwana mkubwa na chairman wa ndungu so tafadhali let us move in that direction under the coordination of the ministry of transport we want as a way of ensuring that the border border sector is uh, 